BidCenter is a digital bid board which allows you to take bid invitations and project information you receive from anywhere and manage and organize all your details in one place. Just click the speedometer icon on the left to begin working in BidCenter. The first thing you may notice are the different statuses of your project pipeline. Here, you can quickly review projects and statuses such as your initial inbox, under review, bidding, bid sent, and won. The inbox lists all the projects to which you've been invited or notified of. From here, you would review the details and then assign the job to a relevant bidding status. The Under Review tab lists all your jobs that are being reviewed by your company. You'll use this tab to review jobs more closely and make a final determination on whether or not you want to bid on it. The Bidding tab lists the jobs you've confirmed are a good fit and on which you're going to prepare bids. You can add any of these jobs to your project watch list to be notified of project updates and addenda during the bid preparation stage. The projects listed under Bid Sent are the ones for which you've already submitted a bid and are waiting upon the results, and the WAN tab shows jobs for which you've confirmed from the providing source that you were the awarded bidder. Now that you've seen the tabs and understand where to find your jobs, let's discuss the basic process of working with a job in Bid Center. To do so, you'll start back on the Inbox tab, as that's the initial status assigned to jobs when they're first sent to you. Let's take a moment to understand some of the vital information that displays here, starting with the Source column. The Source column tells you where this project came from. General contractors in our network can view your trades and service area and send you invitations to bid. You can also search for jobs in your area within our network, and you can manually add jobs into Bid Center as well. For a job in your inbox about which you need more detail, simply click on the linked job name to open the project details. You can see events, documents, a description of the job, and more. Note that if you manually added the job, you'll have the ability to edit the details from this window. In the top right, you can respond to the GC's request to bid. You can indicate whether you're reviewing, bidding, or not bidding by clicking the appropriate status. As soon as you select one of the statuses, the general contractor associated with the project is notified of your intent. Even if your answer is not bidding, it's still recommended that you respond, because GCs can see an engagement score for every trade contractor, which is determined by your response rate. One last thing to note is that when you change the job status from the top of the detail screen, the job then displays under the corresponding tab within Bid Center, rather than the Inbox tab. In addition to reviewing the details and changing the status, you can also use the Share icon in the top right to share these project details with people outside of your company. You can type in up to five different email addresses in the Email Addresses field. All the recipients are blind copied on the message. The recipients then receive a link where they can view the project. If they're not a Construct Connect subscriber, the first time they receive a shared project link, they'll be prompted to sign up for a free profile. To the right of the share icon, there's also a button with three dots. Here you can print the job details as a PDF, download them as a CSV file, or download them to Excel. And just beneath that is an assigned field, which you can use to assign a specific user from your organization to be responsible for this project. Once you're back in the Bid Center window, there are a few tricks you can use to help organize the data and speed yourself up. First, you can select the Columns button over on the right side of the screen to indicate which columns you want to display and which columns you want to hide from view. You can also drag and drop columns to change the order in which they display on your screen. You can change the status of a project without going into the project details by simply clicking on the status to the right of the job and clicking on the appropriate option from the dropdown. You can utilize this same process to assign the project to a specific employee within your company. In addition, you can share jobs to which you were invited by selecting the share icon that displays to the right of the job name when you hover your mouse over the project. If you want to apply changes to the status of multiple jobs at once, you can select the checkboxes to the left of each one you want to change and then use the Change Status button at the top of the window. You also have the option to group selected jobs together for easier organization of your projects by using the Group button. And finally, you can also export all of their details to Excel 
or you can archive them all at once. Next, you can narrow down the list of jobs that display on your screen by using the Filters window to the left. Use the fields there to indicate the criteria for the specific jobs you want to display. You can filter by the person to whom the projects are assigned, the geographic location of the job, the bid date, or by specific building use. Finally, in addition to the standard tab view for Bid Center, in which the jobs are broken out into the tab relevant to their assigned status, there are three additional ways you can view your Bid Center project information. First, you can use the list view. This creates a single combined list for all your jobs and includes all statuses. You can also view your Bid Center using the card layout. This view provides the most information about your bid pipeline at a single glance and allows you to easily drag and drop jobs from one status to another. And last, you can view your bid center in calendar view. The calendar view allows you to see the upcoming events regarding non-archived projects in your pipeline. You can customize it by using the calendar filters on the left side of the screen. The calendar sync button allows you to sync your bid center calendar to your personal calendar. To go back to your traditional bid center view, click the Tabs button.